we'd like to thank our sponsors, including Brianna, who got tapped to do the video when she walked in the door. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, so I'm sure she has a, a really nifty camera. <laughs> don't, don't judge her on the basis of this. But, but thank you, Brianna. Thank you, Lindsay, for these uh, for this wearable uh, jewelry the camp was doing. And uh, there's one, at least, or at least one, for each panelist too. We didn't leave you guys out. Mm -hmm. And then thank you, Punto, all the Punto people for this wonderful space that I, I guess can be used for weddings. So I had this plan that I was going to introduce each panelist, but I changed my mind because I'd rather hear from them. So if you guys could tell us your name, I knew your name, but if you could say, and uh, a little bit about what you do in, in your company. Yeah. Hi, I'm Nancy Sweezy. I am an event planner and a floor designer. I started my career on the blog, and I have been working on the so I do kind of food styling for him a bit. Um, and when I was at Fast Love Deliver, I met a lovely gal with the name of Martha Meyer, who was Marcy Blum's florist before she connected to Preston Bailey. So I've worked on a lot of society weddings with Marcy, the Dolan family, the women's cable vision, and the Needlelander family, and you know, what have you. So I really was heavy to the society weddings, particularly Marcy at the time was doing a lot of off-site and all, a lot of the new venues that outside of the hotel circuit. She was sort of breaking ground in that world. Um, I got involved in Biz Bash, um, and I kept on helping Martha at events. She did the World Cup at the times, and this and that, and the Breeders' Cup, and things like that. And uh, left Biz Bash after five years, and kind of knew everybody and everything. And I went to work with Tokusio Patel and Chabot, which was an international French catering firm. I did business development for them. And I had this I had this light bulb idea. I had a place in Newport, Rhode Island. I, in Newport, and I thought, look at the New York rides to Newport. How much fun? I'll work with them in the evening and the weekends. Won't interfere with my day job. Perfect. So like, my second phone call, I did a little marketing up there, is Lane and Robert Trump's son. It's like, oh dear. And then they want to married in six months. So I talked to my boss and I'm like, you know what? Susie Johnson, it was a year. I would stay, but no, I gotta go and do this. This is too exciting. I will. So I planned a wedding in six months. Um, it was pretty crazy. Thank goodness I had a board of directors, Steve Frost and Stanford Tents, looked over my tent <laughs> contract. And you know, I didn't know the answer. I had the people to go to. So I really was very blessed to have this network of people behind me and very knowledgeable. That's all doing a lot of events. And then at Tentacion, they did some major events at Ellis Island and um, what have you. So, did that, was a new court, brought some new rights to Newport, the economy tanked, or the store there, and I came back home and going, oh gosh, where are we going to find business? And I said, well, not everybody needs a wedding planner, but I do know how to do flowers. Why don't I start doing this? So I started working with a charity I, I knew, and we've done that historically, and it just started dominoing. So I do the Lucas Gala, and I've done Jacob's Cure, I've done Chicago and Wall Street, to Robin Hall, what have you. And weddings all over. I'm a third vendor at the Bronx Zoo, which I love working up there. I've gotten into a sort of the midst of market. I have a theater background, so it's doing a theme that's not a kid's party, that still is elegant and tasteful. And it's all kind of come full circle. So that's me. <laughs> I'll use the mic because it's, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> so free. Okay, so let's start the questions. Uh, what I'd like you to do is in three or four sentences, or even just in three or four words, kind of describe uh, your approach to wedding planning in, in just a short, like three or four sentences, or even just three or four words. And I think we'll start on that end because it's fun to put the on the spot. Um, creativity, um, thoughtfulness, and um, organization. Events industry. People come from all walks of life and end up in the events industry and doing all kinds of crazy things. Uh, how many people at our performing arts showcase that we just had? Uh, the juggler has a, an advanced degree in structural engineering and now she makes her living as a juggler. So the question for you guys is in what ways uh, did your formal education either help you uh, or not help you in your current role as a wedding planner, like your, your background in school, what did you study? Did you find it of help, or was it a wasted years and tuition? Uh, we'll start with you. Well, my school is uh, musical theater. I studied at AMDA, and when I left, I uh, met this, uh, actually one of my friends, her cousin was the creator of the Penguin Repertory Theater out in New Jersey. It was their second season, and now I'm 25 years old, doing a fine 
um, regional theater company, but we did dating and went, oh, I do costumes, I do have so. And I costume the show. Um, when you're an actress, you're also a waitress. So I worked at some of the best restaurants in New York. I worked at Maxwell's Fun, like at GM. Um, and I'd be staying awake for food. How'd you do that? How'd you make that? So I kind of self-educated myself on food and wine from a very young age. Um, I produced uh, my equity part. Um, so project managing for a Broadway show or an off-Broadway show is very similar to an event. I tell brides, your wedding is like an opera. We all know this, we all know the songs, we know what happens when, and everybody gets excited because this part's coming up, you know, and then the is waiting for that right on I said, the difference is, is that as professionals, we all know the opera, no problem. The only difference is we're swapping out the cast and the costumes. And there was no rehearsal. <laughs> there was no rehearsal. <laughs> we're just throwing it up. So, you know, even though we know what we're doing, they can be very nervous. And the reinsurance of that, no, we, we know they soccer really well. We know what to do. And, and there are these iconic moments that I try to get done right away so people can just have fun. But um, it's a lot of fun. And it's also you're dealing with a, a girl who might not do a stage right. And they can trip me. <laughs> and, you know, because they're nervous. And I've seen them with stellar together, corporate gals, you know, just be people who idiots. And they're not going to yell them out. <laughs> so someone's like a little bit of a tough skin to be like, it's not me, it's them, and we're gonna work it out because another bride I worked with, uh, they on a trade show for um, oh I think I don't know which industry was, but we do events, we do a big trade show every year, you know. I said, but she's getting one element, emotion. It's like, oh no, oh my god, we need a dress. It's like look, you wear your suit, you have a suit, you wear to a trade show. There's such a disconnect from somebody who knows how to be a project manager to then doing a wedding where it's stage, your performance anxiety, to you know letting go of control. There's so many different levels that I've experienced. So, so by the way, the questions are going to strike you a harder now. Uh, if you want a glass of wine, I brought that up. So please, uh, no, no one leaves till the wine and the food is gone. So please help yourself to the that that air of cannabis. <laughs> Okay, so, so, so weddings are, are, are wrought with emotion. You know, you're combining families, sometimes there's working different fathers. You know, they can be very, very intense events and, and uh, you know, quite dramatic. Uh, sometimes it brings out both the best and the worst in people. So I'd like you guys to tell me, uh, without naming names, uh, unless you want to, the, the craziest thing you ever saw at a wedding and the most surprising thing that occurred that just kind of took you back. Like, wow, did that really happen? Um, so why don't we start, you, you've probably got a bunch of these. Me? Yeah, let's start with you, because I, I guess I, I, yeah, yeah. Me too. <laughs> <Me> too. <laughs> Good. Um, it was my second really big wedding up at Newport Island. Uh, um, it was my second wedding up at Newport Island. I was pregnant with my second wedding up We met Mark, <laughs> Mark Wilson. We met, you know, uh, Dr. Spindelli, all the top designers. They ended up at Libby. Um, we met Sylvia, Whirlwind. Whirlwind picked three major venues in Newport. Everything's so great. She was slated for it's a uh, say yes to the dress. She was slated for the weddings. Um, everything was going perfect. It was my second big event or fourth big event of Newport. And uh, six months before the wedding, the money's gone. Like Daddy, like and she's like, where's the money? Well, Daddy's a um, he fixes MRI machines, you know, so I guess it's different than doing fixing a, a refrigeration system in a restaurant, so I guess it makes a lot of money. But who is he getting advice and counsel from? You know, the doctors. And everyone said, there's this magic thing out there, we're making so much money. Who do you think it was? Me. <laughs> the money was gone. So here I am, okay, we still don't have a wedding, so we re strategize the whole wedding, we do a normal wedding, we let go of half the venues. And um, we go see her site where she's getting married, and uh, she's we, uh, another family has taken over this whole boutique hotel, and the the porter, not the not the porter, is showing us the hotel. He said, "You can do this. You can do that." I said, "No, she can't. The hotel's been sold out 99% by another bride and her family. They're, they're, it's going to be a catered event to these this hotel. You can do this." She said, "Shut." 
Stop. Stop it. I need to talk to my bra. And I, my old boss at Tentacion was at another menu, and I could have gotten this gorgeous suite. So I'll make the difference in the price just to move you over there because I knew I had to get out of this venue. No other bride wants another bride, and it worked in her party. Simple as that. Doesn't get it. The next week, she gets a letter from the venue saying, We're terribly sorry, but we don't want you anymore. Your, your planner said, Shut up to our porter. You know, I did apologize to <laughs> the porter from me prior to that, but it's like, Who? Like, so that was crazy. And she fired me. She fired me because she didn't have any money left. You know, so was that. Which she had done the wedding that we did. The other was, um, a fellow had gotten to a fight, the mother was very volatile, and um, he ended up in jail. Oh, I didn't know, what? Saturday he was going to make it up. And he's a professional. It was just a really kind of weird scenario, and the mother's kind of crazy, he's totally crazy, and so we're sitting there going, is the band going to go on? Now, I had suggested that this couple do uh, for, for, for rides, for, you know, the TV show. I will never in my life ever suggest any family to do a television show. Because oh, that would be ruined. Could have ruined both of their all their careers. So those are the two worst things happened. <laughs> and mind you, I've seen brides turn on Marcy Blum, I've seen you know, it happens. It's not that it's not just me. It can happen. Uh, so That's the hard industry. Enough. So the waiter asked me what should I do about it? And I said, do not call attention to it. We do not want to, you know, it's, customs or manners are designed to not ever offend anyone. That's what manners are a place for. And so do not call attention to it. Let her have whatever she wants. Let her foods go to the city farmers or something else anyway. So, but just do not call attention to it. And, you know, protect her from her bad behavior, or you know, her odd behavior at least. And, you know, that's how you can handle it. You know, they're someone's guests. <laughs> so, well, one of the challenging things I think about being a wedding planner, and I'm not one, is uh, I'm a wedding vendor. How, how many people here uh, provide services for weddings? Right, so, so most of these people are, are do what I do, I, I provide musicians. These guys are planners. And uh, one of the hard things, I think, and challenging things for wedding planners is if we do a great job, the client thanks us. If we mess up, they blame you. <laughs> So the, the challenging thing for you guys is, is knowing all these different little industries and all their little quirks and all their little contracts, all these little different ones. Um, so this, this is going to be kind of a lightning round. Uh, in my experience, sometimes I've done a great job because of the wedding planner, and sometimes I've done a great job in spite of the wedding planner. Because all wedding planners are not you guys. Um, in the wedding industry in general, there's no minimum requirements. You can just say you're a wedding something, and then you are. There's not. Uh, to be a doctor of pharmacy, you have to pass the test to do this and don't. So if someone said to me, okay, as a, as, a, as a vendor, the thing that drives you nuts about wedding planners is, I would have four or five things to say. But I'm not going to say them, because this isn't about me, it's about the wedding planner. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to say the thing that drives you nuts thing you hate about wedding, and then I'm going to put in a, a category, and I want you to tell me the thing that drives you nuts about people in that category. Obviously not all people in that category, but you've all experienced all those categories. And I'm sure you've had various experiences, both positive and negative. So I'm hoping to get to a lot of different categories, so, so we'll try to be pretty quick about this. Uh, and I, I was going to phrase it, the thing you hate about wedding, I thought those were strong. But you can use those words if you want to. Okay, all, all set? Okay. So the thing you hate about, say, the things that you don't like, no, hate, about <laughs> wedding venues is what? <laughs> 